An Illinois appellate court rules votes will be counted on the controversial Bring Chicago Home referendum, which is on the March 19th ballot. WGN's Andrea Medina joins us from the Chicago Board of Elections. Super side in the loop with more on this latest developments. Andrea. Mike and Ray, Chicagoans can cast their v ballots here early, and those who support the referendum question are now guaranteed that their votes will be tallied. The mayor is pleased voters will have the chance to weigh in. You know, I'm, you know, grateful that so many people have worked hard over the course of now the third administration, because this has been a long time coming for the people of Chicago. The ballot measure asks voters if they want to give council members the power to increase the transfer tax on seven-figure property sales to help fund long-term financial support to combat homelessness. The city's current real estate transfer tax is a flax tax of 0.75% on all property sales, but the proposal would decrease taxes for properties sold for under a million dollars. Properties between one to one and a half million would be taxed at 2% and more expensive properties would be taxed at 3%. The coalition, the Chicago Coalition for the Homeless Board President applauds the appellate court's decision and says this specific question is more than about money and funding. But we're talking about human lives, um, not a checkbook, not just people who want to hand out want money. There are 68,000 people who are homeless. We're talking about homelessness and it's about housing and housing in a just society is a human right. The Illinois Realtors CEO who opposes the measure writes in part quote property owners and renters in our city already facing increasing costs and one of the highest real estate tax burdens in the country deserve better. This ballot proposal is just a property tax increase on everyone and will hurt the city's ability to address homelessness effectively. Now a spokesperson for the Chicago Board of Election confirms all votes for the citywide question will be counted and reported on election night. Now coming up new at nine, we'll have reaction from one of the groups who wanted to knock this referendum question off the ballot and also sued the Board of Elections. We're live outside the super site. Andrea Medina, WGN News.